Hey guys, welcome back to the HVAC Standard. I am glad you joined me today because I want to show you something that I've been looking at a little bit here. Um, I'm at someone's house working on an air conditioner and don't worry, I do have permission to uh, YouTube here. So it actually they brought it up, not me. Um, and so I want to do a quick video because I know there's a lot of controversy out there about how we should evacuate air conditioners. Um, you know, I'm a big believer. It's got to be below 300 microns. You got to do it three times with purging in between. Um, you have to have valve cores out. Um, you have to um, make sure you purge. You have to, um, you know, make sure it's perfect every time. So otherwise you're going to have problems later on. So um, I, I do like the big hoses. Um, you know, I, some of the guys I know, uh, they had gotten them. And I was like, I don't know if it really goes any faster. Uh, but I did get one of the um, Apion Mega Flow hoses. Uh, it's a half inch hose. I got three eighths on one side, quarter on the other side. Um, I got one of those and actually it made me a believer. I'm actually going to get a second one. Um, you'll see here in a minute on my setup, I've got, I've actually borrowed one from a friend. Um, to, I was having some problems with this air conditioner and actually it's made the world of difference. So I am a believer in two big hoses, just the same. Um, but like this air conditioner, um, I had to put a new coil in it. Um, it was actually out of Freon. It has sat empty for a while. Um, so I know there's moisture in there and I think that's what my biggest problem was, but you know, I had the one hose on it and it wasn't coming down far enough. Um, and then I was curious because, you know, I had, I put the micron gauge on the unit itself. I've got valve core removers, uh, so I can put the gauge on the unit itself and uh, be able to watch what the unit's doing, not the pump. Cause I know that's another one of those controversial things out there. A lot of people still want to put the micron gauge on the pump. So, uh, actually a, a buddy of mine, somebody I work with lives just a couple blocks over. So I went and got another Megaflow hose. Um, and then I got, um, uh, his micron gauge. So I'd have two here. So I've got one on the pump and I've got one on the unit itself. Like I said before, I'm a believer. We got to be below the unit has to be below 300 microns before I will charge this thing back up. Um, so I had already pressure tested everything. It held pressure, um, you know, long time. We, we don't have any leaks or anything like that. We've already proven that. So I know it's just a matter of there's moisture in that oil. Um, and there, there's moisture in it. So, but it is coming out now and we're coming down low, but I want to show you what the difference is. Um, because now we're already down into low vacuum or lower vacuum. Um, but I want to show you the difference of what the micron reading is at the, at the pump versus on the unit itself, because there is a big difference. Cause actually when I first started this and put both hoses on, um, and I had gauges on a micron gauge on the unit and a micron gauge on the pump itself. It was a huge difference. Um, actually my, within, I don't know, I'd say four to five minutes or less, uh, the gauge on the pump itself, I was down at 275. And then, uh, the, but the, at the same time, the gauge on the unit side was still at 1500. That's a massive difference. I mean, if I would have saw 300 and, you know, did my thing and opened the unit up, the unit could potentially fail later on because I didn't get the moisture out because I didn't have a low enough level of vacuum. So um, now that it's in a little bit deeper vacuum, it doesn't show as much of a difference as it did before, but it definitely has a big difference. So I just wanted to show you what that was and uh, that way, you know, see what everybody's opinions are out there. So let's take a look. All right, so everything's kind of a, a tangled mess here right now, but I've got uh, the JB, uh, that's only uh, JB6, um, CFM vacuum pump that it always does great, uh, but I've got two of the Apion Mega Flow hoses. Uh, it's a half inch hose, three eighths connectors on one side, quarter inch on the other. Um, I've got my, I've got one micron gauge on the pump, and I've got one micron gauge on the unit down there. Uh, I've got valve core removers on there. We've got the valve cores out. Um, so I want to show you what the difference is. And like I said, now that it's down in lower vacuum, it's not as much of a spread. I wish I would have gotten a video. Uh, of when it was uh, higher. So I, I may look, because I was taking the videos for something else, um, I may look and see if those are on there and I may tag that to this video, um, what it was at higher levels, how what the difference was. But here on the gauge, which no, normally I would never, I don't want to put it on the pump anyways, but I definitely wouldn't put it on the side normally, because uh, that's going to give potential of oil to come back and kill that micron gauge. But at this point, I don't have any choice um, on because of the fitting that's on there. So, and this is kind of a trial run to see what happens. So, you can see on the pump we're at 150. You go over here, we're at 350. So, I mean, 
350 and 150 doesn't seem massive but that's definitely enough I mean that is totally enough if you're in higher vacuums now you know I'm gonna get mine down under 300 either way but you know when we were at higher vacuums that spread was a lot bigger and if I would have shut everything down and vacuum or said everything was good because the micron gauge on the pump said it was good I would have been doing wrong and I would have been doing a disservice to these guys here with their air conditioner because you know later on it, it it's going to have problems but you don't get that moisture out so um, I just want to show everybody what I was looking at right now and I'd be curious to see what everybody else has experienced and see what other techs are doing out there so hit me up in the comments share with your friends definitely share with all your tech buddies that way you, we can I can get maybe some uh, dialogue going on see what everybody else is doing out there and what everybody is seeing so if you got anything hit me up otherwise thank you and God bless